Hi, I'm Stephen Miller. I'm from Quantic Montreal and I'm Associate Lead MoKit. I look for reference and I try to bring believability to the characters in our games. I make sure that we try to hit the marks that uh, everybody wants for this, like the design, uh, directors and coders, making sure that we can create the best uh, project visually uh, on the motion side. We make sure that the people feel that when they're playing on the sticks that it's reactive enough to make you feel like you're part of the game and inside and not waiting for the character to move uh, whenever they press the button. You want them to feel that they're actually involved in the game and it's not uh, just waiting for things to happen after pushing the buttons. When I was much younger, I always wanted to be in video games. But then when I grew up and I found out there was no schools, I couldn't find the direct path. I didn't have connections in the industry at that point. So I, I went into a different profession at first. And then later on, when I found a school, went to school, got my degree, uh, worked really hard, and then I was able to crack my first job. I got lucky enough to, to hit a mark over at Warner Brothers Montreal while working on a Batman game. It kind of changed the career after that. I was able to feel more confident and comfortable going for interviews and talking to people with ideas of how I can bring something to the table for their game. After that, I went into like Eidos Montreal, worked on Tomb Raiders, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then once that wrapped up, I had the opportunity when uh, Quantic Dream decided that they were going to open a studio up in Montreal. I put out a, a CV, I got answered back, did my interviews, and I started working here. I can't say there's much difficult about video games. It's such a passion that uh, whatever a difficult situation is, you always kind of want to get a step above that. Try to push yourself through it. And once that's finished, like you, you've gained so much knowledge and you push yourself forward. In the end, I guess, the only thing that you can think of being difficult is not playing the game, not putting it away. The easiest part of this job is uh, the work friends, the work colleagues. Everybody has such a high passion for these video games. We all want to make the best game possible and we're working together to get it through that door. If it wasn't for people into the arts, we, we wouldn't be able to get something like this. So like having those kind of people to help push you through the bad times to make sure that you're on your game and putting out quality products. Just keep working. Uh, sometimes it takes a little longer than you expect, like it's not going to just drop in your lap. It took me a couple of years after I finished doing my schooling to actually land that first job, so keep going. It's going to happen one day. Go out, get out there, meet people, network, have some fun, uh, play the games, and know exactly what you want when you're going to do it. I guess video games are life. Uh, it's everything that I do. Uh, it's a career that I have and I don't think of it just as a career. It's fun to do. It's like I don't have a problem getting up in the morning to do something like this.